Hi, Alan here from RVAcrossAmerica.net in Vernal, Utah. This is my last couple of days here. It's a stellar day in mid-May. It is absolutely beautiful. Temperatures in the high 70s, light winds, no humidity. And I wanted to take this opportunity to share this with you. My new truck. And I'm going to have a little more detail about it here uh, in the video. I'm actually going to show you a couple of interesting uh, aspects to it. And then I've got a whole post about it. Uh, the post is going to talk about why this truck and what features it has that are important to a fifth wheeler. And uh, it kind of dovetails or ties in with another post that I made very recently that uh, talks about fifth wheel hitches. So the two of them kind of go hand in hand. To get to this post, just go to rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Ford, F-O-R-D, rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Ford. And that's where you're going to get more details. Now I'm going to dovetail into kind of showing off the truck a little bit and, uh, you know, talking a little more about it. And then again, be sure to hit the post because there's a lot of detail there that I don't cover in these videos. All right, Alan here and stay tuned. Here it is, the 2022 Ford F-350 that I've been waiting 11 months for. I even cleaned it for you because it's been sitting under this tree for the better part of this last week uh, and the tree is full of sap. I think it's a maple tree. Um, oh well, but uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the hand car wash seemed to work out pretty well. Anyway, um, halogen headlights, um, bug scoop and, and rock chip scoop on the front. Uh, that's one thing that if you drive out west here, you definitely need a rock chip scoop unless you like replacing windshields. You'll even still replace a few, but maybe not as many. We're going to take a walk around. We're going to head to the back of the truck and uh, take a look at the bed and understand why I bought what I bought. But make sure you go to the main pay, uh, page for this post. This is Alan at rvacrossamerica.net. And the post is at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Ford, F-O-R-D. Okay, here we go. Okay, now looking at the rear of the vehicle. The uh, tailgate itself has a step that can be easily accessed. Uh, as you can see, the bed has been sprayed. It's a rhino lining spray that was done by Esquire RV up the street here in Vernal, Utah. I'll be leaving Vernal in a couple of days and heading in back into Wyoming. Uh, it's got the B&W companion hitch. And again, when you go to my post at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Ford, there'll be a link to get over to the post where I talk about uh, what hitch I chose, why I chose it, what the particulars are with how I ordered my truck. Uh, but you can see it's got the eight foot bed and I like having the extra space. I've got a lot of my junk already in it. We're gonna walk up a little closer. You can see a kayak paddle. You can see a ladder that I use because I'm too short to reach the uh, cotter pin on the B&W Companion. Um, you can see a whole lot of hoses. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, some winter hoses, probably more than I need. I have to sell those off. Um, maybe with the current inflation, I'll make a profit on them and uh, some sewer hoses. The uh, power cord is going to go in here. The surge protector is going to go in here. There's space back here for my grill, uh, for my 15 pound propane tank, for my uh, two gallon bottle of gasoline, which is uh, used for my generator. Um, and I'll probably throw the kayak right back in here. It's an inflatable kayak. <coughs> I also have a spare bottle of DEF, DEF, that I'll be carrying uh, just in case because there's shortages. I've been advised that DEF fluid may be in short supply. You have the seven pin plug back here in the shade. You've got um, strap-ons or, or uh, hookups on the side here, both sides, <clears throat> provided by Ford for uh, bungee cords or straps or whatever you want to use to secure your stuff while it's in the bed of the truck. Okay, we're going to work our way back up to the driver's side entrance 
and I'll point out a couple things that I really like about this truck. First of all, the 2022 in comparison to the 2015, it's smoother, it's more powerful, it's quieter, and it gets better fuel mileage, probably a couple miles per gallon better. I like this right here. As long as I've got the key fob in my pocket, as soon as I touch this, it unlocks the door. And I'm sure this is not unique to Ford and not unique to the Super Duty series, but it's new to me. Um, when we hop in here into the cockpit area, <clears throat> I will start up the truck for a moment. This is uh, my pride and joy. It's a 12 inch screen. Uh, what can I tell you? I'm a little bit of a tech geek. Um, so I'm still learning how to use this. I probably know about 5% of it. It's got a whole lot of, ga of uh, gauges, gauges and such right in here. Uh, just really well organized. It's got redundancy so that I'm not relying entirely on the LED screen. Um, otherwise, that could be an issue. Um, plenty of access to power for uh, cigarette lighter adapters and for USB, <clears throat> which is what's going on down there. And the one thing interestingly missing is a CD drive. Uh, apparently Ford stopped putting them into at least some of their vehicles. I was told by the sales girl in 2019. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, traffic cam that I always have running. And uh, I may occasionally, or I do occasionally, turn that thing around to do a video while I'm driving. Um, and focus it on me or I just keep it focused on the highway and that's where you get some of my uh, traveling uh, videos from. So that's the interior. Uh, I'm not going to get too detailed into it. I'm not a Ford salesman and you know like I said uh, when you're looking for a Super Duty truck it doesn't have to be new. Um, some of the things I'm going to point out in the post are really for you know what to look for when you're buying uh, whether it's new or used and it doesn't have to be Ford. Uh, I personally believe that Ford, Chevy, and uh, Ram, Dodge Ram, make uh, all make a superior product. I do like the Ford better because it rides like a car and it sounds like a car. It's the quietest diesel engine on the market. Uh, but there are other people that don't like that. They want a loud engine. They want a loud diesel. And they want something that drives like a truck. Um, not me. <laughs> anyway, Alan here. And... Uh, Thanks for joining along with me. Get the rest of the story over at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Ford, F-O-R-D.